The Ramesside Dynasty, a golden era in ancient Egypt. Step back in time and immerse yourself in the golden age of ancient Egypt, where the pharaohs of the Ramesside Dynasty ruled with power, wealth, and grandeur. From monumental architectural feats to groundbreaking military conquests, the Ramesides left an indelible mark on history that still fascinates and inspires us today. Discover how this dynasty achieved greatness and solidified its place in the annals of Egyptian history. Hello and welcome back to The Abandoned Archaeologist, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we will discuss the Ramesside dynasty, the golden era in ancient Egypt. But before we begin, to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of the video. Who was the most famous pharaoh of the Ramesside dynasty and what was his legacy? Write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin. The ancient civilization of Egypt is renowned for its long and storied history, shaped by powerful dynasties that ruled over the land. From the unification of Lower and Upper Egypt, under the guidance of Pharaoh Narmer, in 3100 BC to its eventual decline and absorption into the Roman Empire. The fate of Egypt has always been in the hands of its rulers. Of these dynasties, none were more powerful or memorable than the Ramesside dynasty, also known as the 19th dynasty. The Ramesside dynasty was born in a divided Egypt, struggling to recover from the upheaval caused by the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten. This eccentric leader had attempted to reform the age-old religion of Egypt, introducing the worship of the sun. Still, his efforts had only succeeded in angering the people and sowing division and unrest. Into this chaotic landscape stepped the Ramesside dynasty, a ruling line that would help to restore Egypt to its former glory. What made the Ramesside dynasty so special? Perhaps they could restore stability to a land torn apart by division and unrest. Perhaps their ambition and vision led to the construction of some of Egypt's greatest monuments, or perhaps it was simply their legacy, which continues to inspire awe and wonder today. Whatever the reason, there can be no doubt that the Ramesside dynasty was one of the most remarkable ruling lines in Egypt's long and storied history. Taking hold of the shattered realm, the death of Akhenaten marked a turning point in Egyptian history as his son, Tutankhamun, took the throne and attempted to undo the radical reforms of his father. However, Tutankhamun was a weak and deformed child, resulting from generations of inbreeding, and his reign was short-lived. His advisor, Keper Keperure I, took over after his death but met an untimely end after only four years in power. This opened the door for Horemheb, a man of common birth who claimed the crown through marriage to one of Ai's daughters. Despite his lack of royal lineage, Horemheb proved to be an excellent ruler who unified a divided state and erased the memory of his predecessor's religious reforms. Moreover, he showed great judgment and leadership, reigning for 14 years and leaving behind a stable kingdom. But with no surviving sons, Horemheb appointed his close ally and vizier, Paramesi, as his successor. Paramesi's noble and prominent family, though not of royal birth, helped pave the way for his rise to the post of vizier and eventually pharaoh. Upon his ascension, he took the name Menpetir Ramses I, better known as Ramses I, marking the beginning of the 19th dynasty of the Ramesides. The Ramesside dynasty, a lineage of great pharaohs. The ascension of Ramses I marked the beginning of a new era in ancient Egyptian history, the Ramesside period, which saw the rise of the powerful 19th dynasty. Although Ramses' reign was brief due to his old age, there was no cause for concern as his successor had already been appointed, his son Seti. Taking on the name Manmatre Seti I, Seti I was a powerful and dominant king who successfully remedied the ill effects of Akhenaten's controversial reign. He reigned for approximately 15 years, consolidating the empire and reaffirming Egypt's power over Syria and Canaan. Threatened by the neighboring Hittite Empire, one of Egypt's traditional enemies, 
Seti I conducted several strong military campaigns against the Hittites in the north, with most, if not all, ending in victories for Egypt. Although he did not manage to break the power of the vast Hittite empire, he was able to reconquer most of the territories that were affected and reassert Egypt's domination to a large extent. His great victories were preserved in stone, as was customary in Egyptian society, with lavish bas-reliefs adorning the front of the Temple of Amun in Karnak, displaying his glory and might for all to see. Historians agree that Seti was a great king with few flaws and that his reign was a success, particularly after the turbulence of the Akhenaten era. His military exploits, directed chiefly against the Semitic-speaking peoples of the north and east, played a significant role in his success. He defeated Libyan invaders and conquered and defeated many Hebrews, further consolidating Egypt's power in the region. Seti's reign saw the continuation of the 19th dynasty, with his son Ramses II succeeding him as pharaoh. Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, was one of the longest reigning pharaohs in ancient Egyptian history. His reign saw significant military campaigns against the Hittites and extensive building projects, including several temples and monuments. The Ramesside dynasty brought back Egypt's golden age. One of Seti's most renowned accomplishments was his capture of the border city of Kadesh in Syria, which the Egyptians had lost control over ever since Akhenaten. He led a great army into one of the earliest pitched battles in history, the Battle of Kadesh, which occurred in 1274 BC. The battle was inconclusive, but Seti managed to triumphantly march into it as a sign of triumph. Seti died in 1279 BC, and his tomb in the Valley of the Kings is renowned for its wealth of carvings, inscriptions, and paintings. Every single chamber and passageway is adorned with scenes, a testament to Seti's wealth, power, and grandeur. However, his son and heir, Ramses II, would soon overshadow him as the greatest pharaoh of the New Kingdom period. Ramses II gained the epithet Great and is considered the greatest, most celebrated, and most powerful pharaoh of the New Kingdom period, the Golden Era of Ancient Egypt. He built stunning temples, monuments, and entirely new cities, including Pi Ramesses, his new capital in the Nile Delta, from which he conducted his military campaigns. From great monarchs to lesser leaders in the Ramesside dynasty, during the reign of Ramses II, ancient Egypt's army reached its zenith, boasting an impressive 100,000 men, which was an awe-inspiring number for that ancient era. This formidable force helped to maintain Egypt's influence and keep its enemies at bay, securing the nation's borders and consolidating its power. Ramses the Great's lengthy reign finally ended in his 90th or 91st year of life, after which his 13th son, Merneptah, took over as pharaoh, already an old man. As Ramses the Great had many sons, it was inevitable that some would try to usurp the Egyptian throne, leading to a line of succession interruptions. This happened during the reign of Merneptah's son, Seti II, when the country plunged into brief chaos as rival heir Amun Messi seized the throne. After four years of instability, Seti II eventually regained his full position. However, he did not reign as long as his predecessors, dying after only six years. Seti II was officially succeeded by his son, Merneptah Sipta, but his eldest wife, Queen Tuasret, wielded significant informal power. The final decline and end of the Ramesai dynasty. The 19th dynasty of Egypt shone bright like a star in the ancient world, but its light quickly faded. Over 110 years, about eight rulers ascended to the throne from 1292 to 1187 BC. These monarchs emerged from the tumultuous period of Akhenaten's reign. The subsequent pharaohs who inherited the throne could not live up to the high standards set by their predecessors. They failed to solidify their rule and could not maintain the influence of the royal court. The dynasty's once 
formidable power crumbled away as they struggled to maintain their grip on the kingdom. The decline of the 19th dynasty marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter in ancient Egyptian history. What are your views about the Ramesside dynasty, the golden era of ancient Egypt? Comment below. The answer to our question is, Ramses II, the famous pharaoh of the Ramesside dynasty, was a prolific builder and military leader. His reign lasted 66 years and he signed the world's first peace treaty after a famous battle against the Hittites. In addition, Ramses II had many wives and children who wielded significant political power. Subscribe for more such videos.